Hi gardeners, today we're going to talk about what to do when we reach the end of a plant's service life and what to do about that. Now in this beautiful Swiss chart here, it's beginning to bolt. Bolting is when it starts producing a seed head. And as you can see, you've got a lot of nice constricted flowers here in one, two, three, four, five, six stalks that have shot up over the last few uh, days. This plant's trying to go to seed. Weather's getting warmer, the sun is getting brighter and longer, and the plant says, hey, this would be a good time to reproduce. Unfortunately, all the sugars are now going into this stalk so that it can make seeds, which means the leaves that we want to eat are getting less and less sweet. Now, if you like bitter and some salad, that's fine. And if you cook them, that's not gonna be as big a deal but still the taste is beginning to degrade. So that means today we have to harvest the last of our usable leaves before they really go bitter and begin to turn like this. Here you can see this leaf is not helping the plant at all. It's not producing any photosynthesis. It's starting to die off and the rest of the leaves are destined for that unless we take care of that now. I like to just use regular scissors and start cutting the longest, best leaves up near the top. These are perfectly fine. They're going to be delicious. Now as I cut here, you will see how pronounced these uh, bolts are becoming. And you'll also see how much good, productive leaf is left on these plants. All of these will be perfectly good as a cooked vegetable. And then the only question is, what to do with what remains? Well, as my uh, partner in my garden says, if the plant work for me, it won't work for me, it's going to work for him, and that means the remains can go into the compost bin. Very nutritious for the next generation, going to have a lot of things that the plants need and this is just more of the nature's way of recycling materials. We're going to take the leaves and the stems that we don't think are viable for eating, we'll put them into the compost bin and we'll reuse the nutrition to create fertilizer for our next generation of garden. As you can see here how long this is now and you can see how little of the stalk is being devoted for leaf production. This has grown just in the last four or five days. We can cut this off. We can maybe try to cook the stems. Personally, I think we'll just break it off down here at the base and put a lot of this into the compost bin. But as you can see, just from culling for a minute or two, we already have a lot of leaves and we still have a lot more to go on this. Good nutrition and the last chance to get a good product off the plant and then we bid it farewell. If you want it to go to seed, let one or two of these grow up and it'll take about a month. They'll turn brown, they'll become heavy with seed, and they'll begin to tilt over. And at that point you can either break it off and dry it indoors or you can just take your hand and run it down the stalk and the seeds will come onto a piece of paper like this. That's what happened with son of Leonidas over here, but he managed to keep on living. So I think we're still gonna get a few months of production out of him. We'll see here, this looks like it's starting to go a little bit to bolt itself. If I get these leaves out of the way, you can see how this has just extended here. So just because your plant is reaching the end of its service life for you, doesn't mean it still has a purpose. One last harvest, and then the compost bin, okay? It's the right way to use your resources to help your garden keep growing. Thanks very much. And don't forget, like and share, let everybody know about the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.